any day Raper, I want to know in digital today my story. So you've written COVID changed everything. Do you mean that's for you? Yes. Where's the story going to end? Right here. Kate Garraway, Derek's Story, Tuesday at 9 on ITV1 and ITVX. Now, what better way to start your day than with all the news, travel and weather from Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain morning. claims this morning that conspiracy theories surrounding the health of the Princess of Wales are being spread by China, Russia and Iran to destabilise the nation. They come as cancer charities say that Kate's bravery in talking publicly about her diagnosis is a gift that will save lives. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. In a few minutes, we'll be speaking to broadcaster Tricia Gollard about why keeping her own diagnosis a secret was a burden because of the pressure of being in the public eye. Also this morning, the British Dental Association calls out the health minister, Maria Caulfield, after she claimed on this show that there are significantly more dentists seeing NHS patients. We hear from one woman who resorted to pulling out three of her back teeth because she couldn't get an appointment. Let us know your experiences of trying to see a dentist. And he's already back on the Coronation Street beat after swapping the cobbles for the Celebrity Big Brother house. Colson Smith joins us live from the Coronation Street set just before eight. Feeling chilly today, in fact, for much of this week, the outlook is unsettled with spells of wet and windy weather most days. I'll have all the details and dust and more coming up on well, Good Morning Britain. Monday, 25th of March, 2024. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Richard Maidley. Good morning, morning Britain. It's just coming up to two minutes past six. Interesting, isn't it? Since Kate's uh, announcement on mm. Friday, the number of quite high-profile people, celebrities, journalists, who've been falling over themselves to say sorry to her, yeah. to apologise for yeah. all the things they wrote and they said online in the preceding weeks. Yeah, the actor Blake Lively has yep. apologised. Um, Owen Jones, Owen Jones, Jones. Yep. political commentator, and also Sarah Vine. In the Mail. Daily Mail yep. um, columnist as I well. I am surprised. Apologies are rare, aren't they? Um, but they really have been quite... And, and in America as well, there have been commentators apologising for their speculation. And a huge groundswell of people saying that some people who also mocked the Princess of Wales should apologise, people who haven't yet... Who are still sitting on their hands. ...done yeah, so. Yeah, yeah.